What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review of a reaction video. Today, we're going to be watching the full, complete state of play. It goes live. I just got the notification. It goes live in about 30 minutes. We all know why we all here. It got leaked about like last week. The Resident Evil 3. I'm hoping it's here. If not, it is at the Game Awards. Jeff Kelly did tweet out that it wasn't going to be at the Game Awards. However, you know, they, of course, he's not going to spill the beans about it. Of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking around. I'm checking my audio, video, and stuff like that. So if I do look around, excuse me, anything else that might pop up during the state of play that I want to see? Obviously, Batman. Quarter Owls. Where are you? Where are you, WB? Also, the Harry Potter game. WB has a Harry Potter game. Obviously, they could drop a trailer today at day to play and then also drop another trailer at the game awards do i think that's possible with batman and harry potter they both big hitters they definitely need some space between those announcements however if we had to pick what we're gonna see i would say harry potter because we have that leaked footage and it is a lot of leaked footage so i think that one is gonna show up before the batman because we haven't seen that one at all and i do think that's gonna be a ps5 xbox whatever Whatever, next anaconda whatever game and i think the harry potter one might fall into the ps4 xbox one category so we might see that today as well any other surprises we're definitely gonna probably see some vr bullshit and i don't know <laughs> i really don't know um ghost of tsushima we might see ghost of tsushima as well crash bandicoot because they dropped a i probably have to roll it for you guys to even notice but they did a crash bandicoot teaser of a new crash bandicoot game inside of a scissor for PlayStation Now, which it showed the Crash Team Racing carts of them driving, but then one of the characters, Coco, had, um, you know, the Buddha Guy mask? They, she had a brand new Buddha Guy mask, a female looking demonic Buddha Guy mask, and that's never been featured in any Crash Bandicoot game. So a lot of people are speculating that that's going to lead to a new Crash Bandicoot game or a new Crash Team Racing to be revealed, but as of yet, nothing. So today would be the perfect place for that. Besides that, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna see. Definitely not gonna be talking for the rest of 26 minutes, but I'm gonna jump around. Okay, so we got a timer. A 30 seconds on the clock, but they're gonna start with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stars. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Come on, man, I gotta pick up stuff from school. Be late. <laughs> Sony! Sony! <laughs> Somebody play the video? There you go. <laughs> that was a Resident Evil sound. <laughs> that was a classic Resident Evil sound. We definitely getting it today. We definitely getting three today. Let's go. This definitely is not Resident Evil 3. But let's go anyway. What is this stuff? Untitled Goose Game. We're getting a sequel already? Oh, a new area? DLC? <laughs> it's coming to play. It's not on PS4? Okay, that makes sense. They're just coming to PS4 then. I did not know it was it wasn't on PS4 yet. My son looked like he wanted to kick the goose though. Still looking for his keys. I've still yet to play it. If I play it, I'm probably gonna play it on the Switch. But it looks cool. What you gotta do in that game? You gotta throw everything that in the, in the room? 
Hey everyone, welcome to another hey. episode of State of Play. We're super excited to be back again before the end of the year with new announcements and updates. I'm glad you were here. Before the end of the year, I'm glad you're here. Starting with House House's Untitled Goose Game, coming to PS4 in just a few short days on December 17th. A few short days, okay, cool. Okay, let's jump into some online multiplayer. Okay. Here's a spellbinding new Battle Royale experience heading to PS4 in 2020. Battle Royale! Ooh. It's like... It looks like um, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is could be cool. Whoa. Have we seen this game before? I feel like I've seen uh, um, a trailer for this game, like at E3 or something. It looks cool, though. It's cool, cool as fuck. Definitely superhero running. That's dope. This guy is dominating on the, on the top with the thing. The powers are look incredible. And the fact that the powers are going to be connected to like the characters. Spell break. Yeah, I probably did see this before. But the 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 fact that the powers are connected to the character and it's a battle royale is a very spell interesting break take on it. Combine a unique mix of role playing and spell based magic combat and is being created by Proletariat, a group of game industry veterans. Don't know who they are. Next up, the talented team at Media Molecule has an exciting new dreams update to share with us. Okay, more Let's dreams. See what's in store for this groundbreaking PS4 game? Well, what are we gonna see? What what more can you show us from dreams? The story mode? This looks dope. <laughs> Look at me talking shit in like two seconds. I'm like, this is dope. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, because it's like you could make your own game. Alright. Yeah, we get it. The art styles are so dope because it's literally like anything you could do within the engine. This is amazing, man. I wonder if these are fan created stuff or are these stuff that are in house? Because Jesus Christ, if they're in house. They literally made like a hundred, a hundred games, and if they're fans creating stuff, again, more amazing. Imagine being a fan, playing the beta, and then having your beta be included in the trailer. Like, could build a racing game, bro. Marvel Madness, two D games too. Dreams is like having a game that has an infinite games. Now. Aid in Dreams, February 14th. Okay, we got a date. Dreams I, is almost here, arriving on February 14th. I wonder when we we're gonna start to getting games, like full games, that are gonna say, oh, Our next Made game in Dreams. Is all about perspective. Witness the mind-bending world of Superliminal. Superliminal, oh, I, I've seen this game. This is the exit sign game, where you drop it and you like walk back and it's huge or some shit. This is an indie state of play right here, man. PS4, do a shot. Warning. Warning. <laughs> Too big. Hello, this is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Wow. So special, in fact, that we have no idea where you are. You are now beyond conventional psychospatial limits. Don't be alarmed. You are exhibiting signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, what? and frustration. Please don't take this personally. You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. Wow.
Wow. Again, this game is very interesting. Superliminal looks sublime, and it's coming it to looks PS4 like, next year. It looks like Portal. Now let's take a but look a new at Paper Beast, an exotic and mysterious Paper new world Beast. coming to PlayStation VR. Uh, Paper Beast VR game from the creators of Another World. Okay, there goes a Paper Beast. Explore a living and dynamic new VR ecosystem. Heard that story before. Manipulate the fantasy wildlife fan. What is this? Oh, you can play with them. You can kind of tell them where to go. Oh, and you can pick them up. Oh, you can put them on the chain. Oh, okay. What's the point? What's the point of this game? Just to fuck around in the world? Play with terrains and fluids. What? Oh my god, so they couldn't climb because it was too slippery? This is like putting sand. Yo, this is a okay, weird VR idea. Definitely a mystery. Paper Beast. A unique VR odyssey. Coming Q1 2020. Now here is Shorty to come say the same thing. Paper Beast Sandbox <laughs> Mode lets you explore a dreamlike living ecosystem sandbox and solve mode. environmental puzzles. It's coming to PSVR early next year. It's time to Where Enix? Let's oh, check okay. out a large I was about to say Final Fantasy coming to one Final of Fantasy 7. biggest games. Okay, Kingdom Hearts. But if we still remember him, then he must still be with us. But we've been searching everywhere for Sora, and we haven't found a single clue. Oh. So, this is the fear and despair that Aqua feels. Seeing that you have also taken the forbidden path, you too must be ready to make the ultimate sacrifice. Why do I feel like this was supposed to be at the end of the game? And if this box is truly as important, and I pushed the DLC. Why now? Hey, I thought you'd be gone by now. You're the organization. Yeah. So we're still playing as um. Sure. Everyone always oh, told me. Cool. To just follow my heart. But follow my heart. Aww. Hearts are all connected. Trace the connection. <gasps> it's so pretty. <laughs> Let's go. Roxas, shield. <clears throat> Yeah, what's ours? Nope, the heart of connections. Are you sure about this? Yes. But don't worry. I'm not alone this time. You yourself will vanish from this world. And without your powers, you can't return to the world you came from. I've been I've been having these weird thoughts lately. Like, like is, is any of this for real? Or not? Remind January 23, 2020. Pre order starts today. You could waste, not waste your money, but you could buy the game today, which is like 
Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind DLC debuts this January on PS4 with new playable characters and exciting new battles. How about a big update on Predator Hunting Grounds? Okay. Let's dive right in. Let's go. Besides Kingdom Hearts, I was going to say all of this is like indie stuff. Hunter. Berserker. Gal. Choose your weapon. I wonder how um mounted that's gonna feel. Like something mounted on your shoulder. Cross bow. Hunt. It's using the trees. Help me. The hunt begins April 24th. Okay, we're getting a lot of. Um, this, this thing. brutal asymmetrical shooter set in the Predator universe is officially a lot of release April dates. 24th, and we can't wait to join the hunt. Now let's check out first Square gameplay Enix. from Babylon's Fall, the next bold experience Babylon's from Square Fall. Enix and Platinum Games. Square Enix and Platinum? That is a weird... No, it's not. It's not weird, but that is a cool collab. It's like a Bayonetta Final Fantasy RPG game, right? Is that what they're giving us? Okay. Definitely Bayonetta looking. <laughs> More so on the side of um, Devil May Cry. Definitely looks like Devil May Cry. Looks like it looks cool. I like the concept. Sun has two swords swinging it. He also has like whips, air combos, dashing. Boss battles, of course. Destructible environments. It's just dope. So they are hundred percent selling this game based on like the looks of how dope it looks to um, more information next summer. Babylon's fall looks intense and combat focused. We can't wait to learn okay, more. Okay, so time. they're not focused on story too much, Capcom. Speaking Resident of intense, Evil, we've got let's an go. exclusive reveal of the unannounced campaign portion of Capcom's Project Resistance. All right, if this is the bridge to. Um, RE3 that we need? Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep this week. But it's a story mode for Project Resistance. How did this happen? This is Resident Evil 2. Yeah, definitely. What the fuck? They running away from Mr. X? Yep. That'd be dope if they did, um... I would consider getting Project Resistance if it had a few sections like this, like first person too, like in the story mode. So it like connects, it makes you feel like this is like a sequel to um, Resident Evil um, 7. Jill, over here! Jill? Oh my god. What the hell? How could Jill? Wait. Did they just pull a fast one on us? We got off. 
Isolated. Don't look at me like that, alright? I'm not an infected. <laughs> he made sure to say that shit. Oh. Two stars? Oh. Star's office has to be in this direction. It gets worse every night. They don't want the world to know what they've done. Oh, my head. What's wrong with Umbrella? Get in! I can't stop them all. Okay, the star person. You guys are the ones who caused all of this. No, 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 wait. Oh, come on. So it's third person with first person sections? We've got to be dreaming. What the fuck? RE3? Okay. You said Resident Evil Resistance. Like Resident Evil Resistance is RE3? Honesty, integrity, That's just a multiplayer? The core values that create the foundation for Umbrella Corps. Nemesis! Oh, come on, man! They did the same thing with the reveal of RE2 though, with uh, Mr. X, with him ripping through the fucking elevator. RE3 also includes the online game Resident Evil Resistance. That is cool. Okay, pre-order today to get the classic pack. Resident Evil 3 is coming Ooh, to PS4 music. on April 3rd. Let's go! For pre-order starting today. As a bonus, Resident Evil 3 also includes Resident Evil Resistance, an intense 4v1 survival game. That's to our insane. For this exciting first look. That's insane. Resident Evil Resistance is just the multiplayer part. Know, we have a special treat. That's insane. As you know, PlayStation's 25th anniversary was on December 3rd. To mark the event, the father It sucks of the that Resident Evil 3 kind of got wanted to share like a leaked special message. because of PlayStation. It got leaked already. Hello everyone. So そして世界中の愛を持ってそれらのタイトルを遊んでいただいた世界中のユーザーの皆様に私より心から感謝をいたします。25年前。25 years ago, ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。ですね。
That was cool. If just for Resident Evil 3 getting confirmed. Yeah, that was cool. What else did we see? <laughs> <laughs> what else did we see? We saw um, Untitled Goose Game. It's cool for PS4 owners. And we saw that weird looking spell Battle Royale game, which looks cool. If it's free to play, holla at me. I download it and dabble in it and play it. Right now, I'm not looking for an edge for a uh, Battle Royale game. What else? They had that weird paper VR game. They had Dreams, they had Kingdom Hearts, which was kind of weird. I felt like Kingdom Hearts could have been its own standalone trailer and not been in the state of play, but teach your own Kingdom Hearts is a big title, so you can do that. And it's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of what else. And we got Project Resistance. I'm gonna just jump to that because that was to me the best thing out of this state of play was the fact that Project Resistance isn't just Project Resistance. It is Resident Evil 3. Project Resistance is going to be the multiplayer for that. Or what? That's what it leaves. How they're pushing it. That's like the package. You get Resident Evil 3. You get Project Resistance. I wonder if it works the other way around too. You probably could buy Project Resistance separately for like maybe like twenty dollars. I would think that Resident Evil 3 is going to be full retail, and then it comes with this as a bonus, which is cool. Which is cool. It's just weird. It, it hit me kind of weird, especially seeing the Resident Evil 3 trailer. Like, I need to see it again so I can get the vibe of it. it, it that was kind of a weird way to reveal it. It was like all over the place as far as first person and then jumping, you know, out the window with the geo reveal, which is cool because that's exactly like uh, the original for RE3. It's kind of weird because it's getting overshadowed and blended with Project Resistance when it didn't need to, man. Resident Evil 3 could stand on its own, Project Resistance. I'm glad that it's a multiplayer game and it's not gonna be a full price game that you are getting it for free, which is pretty cool. To me, it's a sour note that they led with Project Resistance. They should have not done that. They, Project Resistance should have been like a month before release of Resident Evil 3. Hey, here's a new multiplayer game, but they show Project Resistance hella early to me and I don't know, maybe it's because they have wanted to get the beta out and get people's hands on it. But it, it, to me, it's sour to note because I was thinking we were seeing Resident Evil Resistance and that wasn't the case. And then once we got confirmation it was Resident Evil 3, I'm hyped, but I was already deflated by the fucking reveal that it was Resident Evil Resistance and granted we already knew Resident Evil 3 was gonna be here because of the leaks of it being leaked on the Sony PlayStation Store about a week ago. So that's kind of deflating as well. And then Ghost of Tsushima at the Game Awards is nothing really to kind of write home and brag about but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Cool state of play. I don't know. The Final Fantasy one was dope. Definitely leaning towards a good side as far as a the style of them presenting these um, state of plays is definitely getting better. They're definitely learning, which is a good thing. Um, I felt like that Iron Man one was terrible. The VR, <clears throat> excuse me, the VR one. But that was just, again, them learning. Them learning this idea of doing it, doing reveals like this. So I, again, hopefully they get better and hopefully they improve. I thought it was pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of all the trailers that got shown today everything from this state of play that you like that you think i didn't even talk about because i forgot let me know in the comment section below i'm pretty sure i'm missing a game or something like that let's talk about it down there as you guys know i answer all comments so i'm gonna see you guys down there if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more just like it hit that subscribe button i do videos like this every day watch a trailer or gameplay videos i am going to do a reaction to the game awards as well so best believe if you want to check that out best way to do that is with subscribing hit the notification bell if you want to be notified the next time i drop Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter, and you guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube, and yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of videos just like this one. So if you enjoy, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.